on the topic battle against witchcraft. What did I say? Battle against witchcraft. In Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. Ladies and gentlemen, there are battles of life that we contend with on a daily basis. And let many things that happen around us is because of certain battles that we could not overcome. And today, I'm glad to announce to you, you will defeat the devil today in Jesus' name. Verse 25 I read, But thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Read that place together. For I will contend with him, that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. Please say it again. I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. Can you shout a big amen? amen. Verse 26. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with swine, wine, sweet swine, and all flesh shall know that I am the Lord and thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Hallelujah. Now, what am I trying to say here? God is saying that he will contend for us. In other way, he's a God of battle who is ready to battle against the forces of witchcraft. Now, in this context, when I mean witchcraft, I'm not ref narrowing that to only those who fly at night by witchcraft power. No. I'm referring to those who have the power in their hand to write petition. I'm those who are, have the power in their hand to approve or to disapprove. Anyone who disapproves you against your witch is practicing what? Witchcraft. Anyone who blackmail you and tarnish your image, speak against you to spoil you is practicing what? Witchcraft. And anyone who tries to divert your blessing, manipulate your blessing, whether by power, by constitution, by right, by decree, or by spiritual means, by occultic power, is also practicing witchcraft. And not only that, those who deliberately do wickedness against you, they are practicing witchcraft. Rebelliousness, the Bible says re, to be rebel is, exact, is, is, is equal to witchcraft. So those who rebel against you, they are also practicing witchcraft. And people practice witchcraft today in various manner. Those who willfully disobey God, they are practicing witchcraft. I mean, that is the reason. Why we preach the gospel so that we can be free from the spirit that holds men in bondage. And I'm glad to announce to you, you shall be free today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I am saying this clearly. Today, the ground will be open to devour the powers of wickedness that is manipulating your blessing from your life. Can you say better, amen? Now, one, God will take away the captivity. God will take away you, the, the evil that the enemy is plotting against you. He will remove you from the bondage you have been. And he will set you free. Now, do you know the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 24. Now, many of you have been hearing that, but people have not known exactly what it all entails. But it's good we see it. In Deuteronomy chapter 24, for verse 24, the Bible says, For the Lord thy God is what? Is what? Now, many of you don't, if you don't have your Bible, please look at the screen. You will see it from the screen. If you are a slow opener of the Bible, just look at the screen. You, you will see it clearly. For the Lord thy God is what? I can't hear you, please. I can't still hear you. 
Shout it louder. A consuming fire. A consuming fire. Somebody will come to share testimony. Say, Pastor, you know, eh, eh, like promise came to share testimony. Say, Pastor, can you imagine? God is good. God is good. God is good. That fire, I was cooking something and I forgot it in the, in the house to the church. From, I spent in the church about five hours. I went home. The fire did not consume the house. The thing did not burn the house because the fire is not a consuming fire. God neutralized the fire. God neutralized what? Fire. Fire is consuming. But when God intervened by his own power, he stopped the power of, of, of fire not to consume. Now, when God intervened in the time of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he intervened with fire. It intervened in the fire, and the fire became an air conditioned room. Now, it is only God that can intervene in the affairs of man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But when fire is working, and God says, I am a consuming fire, who can stop that fire? Who can intervene? Since the one who is the author and the finisher of fire say he is coming with fire, who can stop it? He is unstoppable. He is the one who utters and nobody can change it. He is the one that opens it and no man can close. He is the one that closes and no man what can open. He is the almighty God. He is the supreme being. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. He is the author and 